it's Randy so I know it's been such a long time since I've made a video but after I finished try one in chiropractic school I just started traveling and then I got back the day before try two actually started and try two has been so much I've been so busy so I just haven't had like the opportunity to sit down and make videos and actually be active on social media but one person actually asked me if I could give like a detailed or make a detailed video and talk about how I actually study for chiropractic school. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share. It's gonna be um, a quick video, sort of say. I'm gonna get everything and just try to make it as concise as possible. But of course, it is hard to be in a medical program when having an autoimmune disease. So I do want to be able just to share like how I structure my day and how I lay everything out and just try and make it through try to. So just to start out, I actually wanna give like what my schedule actually is. So on Monday, I start class at eight. I go to class until noon. I have lunch from noon to one, and then I go to class from one to four. On Tuesdays, I'm in class at 8 a.m. I have lunch from noon to one, and then I'm in class from one to three. And Wednesday is the same schedule. Thursday, I start class at nine, have lunch from noon to one, and then I finish class at four. And then Friday, I start class at nine, and I finish at two. We actually don't have a lunch on Friday. So if you add that up, I am in class, sitting actually in class for 30 hours out of the week. And then if you add an extra four hours, so I'm on campus typically a minimum of 34 hours, but of course I get there early. And then some days I stay late for study sessions. So I'm actually at school for probably between 35 to 40 hours every single week. I do not have a job. Some people that are actually in chiropractic school have like, I think it's called or school study, study work. I don't know, but they just have jobs through the school. So like some of the students will work in the library. So they actually get to like study while they work and make money. But I do not have a job. I don't work outside of school. I just strictly go to school. And I also, I moved back home and I live uh, with my parents so I don't have any obligations. Like I don't have to worry about making sure my lawn is mowed or just anything that has to do with like having a house. And also my mom is such a great mom. And so on days that are just really, really long and I'm really busy, typically she'll have dinner prepared once I get home. Or if I still need to eat dinner, then we just go and get dinner together. So I just like to mention that just because I want everyone to know that really I'm just focusing strictly on school. I don't have any outside things. And um, also like people that aren't, that don't live at home, they don't have the luxury of like seeing their parents all the time. So on the weekends, they're really torn between studying or going back home and traveling to go back home. So I don't have to worry about that. And I'm able just to manage my time with school and just have my family there with me. The only issue though that I do have is that during this whole program, I'm doing long distance with my significant other. Matthew is still in Alabama, so I do, it is hard to balance school as well as a very serious relationship. But let's get down into what this video is all about, how I actually study. So I am taking, I'm not even gonna count up how many classes I'm taking, but basically I go to class, say I go to class on Monday, and I have seven classes on Monday. So when I go home that day, I study everything that we went over that day in class. So it's fresh on my mind. It's honestly been the best way for me to retain information, but I do that every day. And I do study every single day, even on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I do study. The weekends, I can actually get a bulk of my studying done. And I just break up my studying and study every day and just go over what my teacher went over that day just because tests and quizzes pile up. Like it's not unheard of for us to have five tests in one week and as well as four quizzes. Like that's not anywhere near out of the ordinary. So I stay on top of everything and I just study in small bits every single day so that say when a test finally comes along, I've been studying for that test. So. I don't have to spend, I don't have to pull a whole all-nighter trying to learn all the material and cram everything in because I've been studying for it. So basically when I study for a test, it's almost just like a review. I love test days. I love, I honestly love when we have a bunch of tests in one week just because I'm able to just 
oh, finally, it's just a review. I'm not having to learn anything new. And then when we, of course, when we have a test in that class, then I don't have to study for that class when I get home that night because we didn't go over any new material. But I also learned in my undergrad to, like in my undergrad, for say, when I had a test, say I had a big test that was over five chapters, I would count back six days from when my test was. So I could just have to focus on studying a chapter a day. Because for me personally, um, I'm not one, I'm not gonna retain much information if I try to just study a big bulk of the information at one time. And also, I have to get 10 hours of sleep every night just because of my autoimmune illness. So like rheumatoid arthritis will definitely drain you. And if I'm not sleeping properly, then my joints flare up and I just fall into this constant cycle. Because as many people know that have autoimmune illnesses, if your joints are flared up, you're not gonna sleep much at night because you're in pain. So I try to stay on top of my sleeping and I cut off my studying by eight so that by 10 o'clock I'm asleep. And I try to get between nine to 10 hours every night. This try has been a little bit tough because it's been harder and it's more coursework and just I'm, in, I'm at school for a way longer time than I was for try one. And also we have to get up earlier. So I have been averaging about eight to nine hours every night, which is still good, but I have really noticed that I've been way more tired this try just because I haven't gotten 10 hours. And I have ran into more flare ups this try simply because I haven't gotten 10 hours. But I do study the way that I do so that I can just focus on small increments and I can retain the information better as well as make sure that my body is doing well and recovering the way that it needs to. So in terms of how I actually, that's just like the outline of how I study, but how I actually legit sit down and study, I, in class, I'm very, that's honestly, sitting in class and listening is a big key, key component when it comes to actually studying. So I listen from the time that the class starts to the time that the class ends. I'm focused, I have my phone away from me. I make sure my iPad or my laptop's on do not disturb so I don't see messages come popping down from the top. And I'm focused, I'm writing down anything that my teacher says that's something big, I'm highlighting. I'm also big, as a side note, I'm big with um, different color highlighters. So say for one class, for example, I'm taking pathology. Um, if we're talking about autoimmune diseases, we just talked about those recently. I did that whole section in green. So automatically in my head, when I get to the test and we're on a specific question, I know, oh, that's autoimmune diseases, ooh, that's in green. And then if I go forward and we were actually talking about, I don't know, different joint diseases or anything of that nature, then I do a different color. So basically with each PowerPoint that my professors will give us throughout any class, I will just change colors throughout the course so that it's easier for me to remember. And then when I get home, I look at what the professor talked as key points and I really pay attention to those. So I do just read over my notes and I try and find out ways to remember different things. Like for example, one of our professors taught us that the nerve that innervates your diaphragm, which helps you breathe, is called the phrenic nerve. And to remember what part of the spinal cord it comes off, we learn C345, keep the diaphragm alive. So I just do that personally with like any other stuff that I'm studying. I make up little weird little jokes and just weird ways for me to remember them because it makes it that much easier. And then also a bunch of people in our class actually make quizlets. So they make these little study, little flashcards for us and they'll post us, they'll post it in the group me and say, hey, I made a quizlet for the quiz we have coming up on Thursday. Or hey, I made a quiz for the test we have, yada, yada, yada. So once I feel like I've retained the information as much as I could, just by going through it, reading it, and going over my notes, then when the test gets closer, I actually go to their Quizlets and I'll go through them because then it's like I'm finally testing myself. And my anatomy teacher always says that the key to learning is just repetition. So if I can just go through Quizlets and go through flashcards over and over and over again, then I'm learning as well as I'm just repeating it in my head over and over again so it sticks. So that's honestly just the way that I learned and I've been using that method since I was in high school, honestly. And in terms of, because chiropractic school or any other medical program, it gets rough. Your undergrad, like getting your degree gets rough. Just anything that's worth having is really hard. 
So on the days where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to study, I don't even want to open a book, because there are days when I come home from class when I've been at school all day and I stayed after school to go to a little study session where I'm tired. Like I just, I want to get in bed and go to sleep. But I actually have on my mirror why I started chiropractic school. And I just get up, I'm like, hey, Rainy, just go look at your why. So I remind myself of my why and that is basically what keeps me pushing and I know that I have such a high standard for myself and I know that I want to be the best doctor that I can be for my future patients. And so if I want to be the best doctor I can be, then it starts now. It starts with the studying, it starts with sacrificing. My best friends literally live 10 minutes away from me now and I do not see them near as often as I would love to see them because in high school I saw them every day we had sleepovers every weekend I saw them no matter what but since I started this program I haven't had as much time and so thankfully like even when you start something that takes up so much of your time people that are really close to you and that really love you and see that this is something you're passionate about then they a hundred percent respect it and they're just like no I know you're chasing your dream so go ahead, chase it. And I know just like all the sacrifices that I'm making and studying and everything that I just don't like that comes with doing something so tough, it's only for three and a third years. I'm already almost done with two trimesters. I have eight more to go. So it's honestly, it's flown by, which I'm surprised because during it, it's like, oh my gosh, this is the longest thing ever. But it flies by and you just know that you're just going through it for a short amount of time. So I actually have to get back to studying now. If you see me like look like this, it's cause I'm looking at all my books and my laptop open and they're just like, hello, you have a test coming up so you need to come study. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, but if of course, if anyone is in school, in graduate school, thinking I'm going to medical school, thinking I'm going to chiropractic school, could be anything and you just want to know more and just ask me all the questions that you don't really get to find on the internet or you don't know someone who's actually going through what you want to go through then definitely reach out to me my instagram is rawarrior underscore randy my email is rawarrior randy at gmail.com you could email me or you can direct message me i promise to get back with you within a day i normally in past videos i was like oh i always have my phone in my hand well, now that Try2 started, I don't always have my phone in my hand. I honestly don't get on my phone until I'm laying down in bed after 8 where I'm like, okay, you're done studying, time to wind down. And even then, I try to get off my phone so I can properly wind down. But regardless, I will respond and I would be more than happy to share with y'all anything that you want to know about what's going on. So as always, reach out to me. I'm here and I hope that y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Goodbye.